All right. <clears throat> Good day and welcome to learning exercise 5,41. 4.1, we're looking at the first problem in our exams, which normally get trig diagrams. Now, here yeah, trig diagrams, I'm spe specifically looking when coordinates are given to you. It's considered elementary. So basically, we give you a drawing in a Cartesian plane, straight line, there where P, and we give you the coordinates X and Y. You are then required to take that and complete a right angle triangle where you insert a 90 degrees and take note y is most now vertical so that is y that is x and generally this angle we use theta or beta or alpha cross my 90 degree angle is always my hypotenuse so we can say if op meaning from this point to p equal r units determine a value of sine theta over cos theta and tan theta so you should know sine theta is y over r Cos theta is x over r. Right? Oh, I see here. Yeah? So if I say sine theta over cos theta, it's y over r divided by x over r, which then becomes y over r times r over x, which then equals y over x. And the tan theta we should know is y over x. So as you can see, tan theta will always equal sine theta over cos theta. So those are just one of the identities we will work with later. Right, now let's look at the one where we actually give you the coordinates. The diagram A is 7 and 24. It is a point in the Cartesian plane. So there's my point A, 7 and 24. So again, complete my right angle triangle, 90 degree there. Y is 24, X is 7. It's theta, that is R. Right? Now, what do they want me to do? They basically want to ask me to determine the value of cos, sine theta plus cot theta, cosec theta plus 1. So we should know before we can solve anything, we always require to use the theorem of Pythagoras to solve the unknown sign. So you see here, if we go to the drawing, they've only given me my y value and my x value, I still have to find my r value. So using theorem of Pythagoras, the longer side r squared will always equal that one squared plus that one squared. So then r squared equal 7 squared plus 24 squared which then gives me 49 plus 576 which becomes 625. Right, so to get ready to make r squared r, I say square root r squared to one side, I have to do the other side, become plus or minus square root 625. Now take note, R, or my hypotenuse, is always a positive value. So that equal plus 25, and can't equal minus 25. Now I have my X, Y, and R values, so I have to determine the value cos theta. I should know is X over R. No need to write this, but you should know cos theta equal X over R. My X value according to my drawing, we go here yeah, is 7 and my r value I found was 25 so therefore cos theta equal 7 over 25 if I do sine theta plus cot theta I need to know sine theta is y over r cot theta is x over y flip 10 theta around so my y value is 24 my r value is 25 x value is 7 my y value is 24 right <coughs> and yeah <coughs> Generally, it's a simplify without the use of a calculator, but I've used a calculator in this case. Later on, I'll show you how we do it without a calculator. Added, I got 751 over 600, which gives me 1,25. The cosec theta, I should know, is r over y. It's the reciprocal of sine theta. r over y plus 1, 25 over 24 plus 1. Now, 1 can be expressed as 25 over 25. Or 24 over 24 according to the denominator 25 plus 24 gives me 49 over 24 right let's look at the third problem so now again coordinates are given right so yeah I'm giving you a drawing where I give you R value give you a Y value but you see X is not given so first we have to find X before we can do anything else right so 3.1 says, determine the value of x at point P. 
So again, x is the shortest side, so you see if I complete the drawing, this is what I have 13, y is 12, I have to find x. So once I find one of these two sides, it's not opposite the 90, it will always be the longer side squared minus the shorter side squared. Do you follow? So therefore, it's x squared equal r squared minus y squared. r squared will always be the longer side. So it's always longer side minus shorter side squared according to theorem of Pythagoras. So r squared becomes 13 squared minus 12 squared. 12, 13 squared, 169. 12 squared, 144. If I subtract that 2, I'm left with 25. So x squared equal plus or minus square root 25. x equal 5 or x equal negative 5. Take note, x can't be negative 5 because this is in the first quadrant. In the first quadrant, my x values are positive. Right? So now since we have x, y, and r, we can actually then go on to the easy part, answering the question. So there, first determine the values of sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. So sine squared theta, y over r. Ne? My y value is 12. My r, r value is 13. So that becomes 12 over 30 squared because there they say it's sine squared theta. Plus cos squared is x over r. My x value is 5. My r value is 13, so that's 5 over 13 squared. So 12 squared, 144. 13 squared, 169. 5 squared is 25. 13 squared, 169. 144 plus 25 gives me 169. 169 divided by 169 equals 1. Right, so they have determined the value of that plus that. Go to second problem, I have sec theta plus quad theta. So there I have sec theta, I should know, is the reciprocal of cos theta, so that becomes r over x. So my r value is 13, my x value is 5. Quad theta, reciprocal of 10, so that becomes x over y. So my x value is 5, my y value 12. To add two fractions, denominators must always be the same. So 12 times 5 gives me 60, so I just denominator making 60, that one I'm making 60. So here I'm multiplying by 12, so 13 times 12 is 156. Here I'm multiplying by 5, 12 times 5 gives me 60, and 5 times 5 then gives me 25. 156 plus 25 gives me 181 over 60, and you should know 60 goes in 181 3 times, or 6 goes in 18 3 times, leaving a remainder of 1 over 60. Hope you follow, hope you understand, hope you enjoy the lesson. Continue working. I guarantee you, you will be successful. Never give up. Ever. Right? People that work hard, go through all the adversities, they always reap the benefits. God bless. All the best.